Look at all the people lining up for a shower. That's hilarious. I'm so excited. Hurry up! How long does this take? Guess I'll wait. I can't wait! <laughs> Why does everyone want to take a bath at the same time? Now it's bedtime. Nobody got a bath. Hey everybody, Johnny Five Alive here, and welcome back to some more Dragon Quest Builders. We got a new outfit. <laughs> some fashionable towel, towel robe. <laughs> we can put our old gear back on there. So yeah, we have the ability to uh, wear a towel now, which is quite hilarious. So I did some stuff in between the last episode uh, just to make a little bit of dent in the progress. So let's catch you up to speed. Brittany came up to me and she asked me, she was saying the town stinks. <laughs> People need to have a shower. And she asked me to construct a bath hose. And um, this was actually a blueprint. If we go to our Builderpedia, go to blueprints, there she is. So I got to place this blueprint down on the ground and I just basically built it like a Lego design and uh, showed me all the uh, ingredients that I needed. So I built all those, put them on my hot bar, and then I just placed away and made the exact bath hose that, that it, it, it asked me to. Now I'm imagining in the future, where, wherever you're playing sandbox mode or <clears throat> building up your own island. You don't have to do this exact design, but it gives you the idea like you need wash tubs, you need cloths, you need one of these bathtub thingies, and uh, some, some bags and stuff, and it only has to be a small size room. So it's funny because they all lined up and they, they got in line when it was first finished, and uh, they're all waiting to have a shower there. Pretty funny stuff. So yeah, we have our bathhouse, we have our barn, everything's coming together. One thing that I, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last episode or if we discovered this together, but as long as I put the seeds in the farm box, they will actually do all the planting for me. Now, I don't know if I have any seeds on me, let's see here. Doesn't look like it. I am noticing that the enemies are dropping wheat seeds, but I'm not sure where to get more cabbage seeds. So, uh, if you go up to your scarecrow, you can actually choose what you want them to plant here. So what I did is, before this was kind of like a, a two, two crop farm, and I decided this will be the sole cabbage patch. So it's the cabbage patch farm right outside the house. Go ahead and harvest all this. Now they were saying that like, if you harvest it too many times, they won't grow back, and I don't really think I'm getting seeds out of this, so... Uh, but at the same time, it's like, well, if they all disappear, I've harvested it all, and I have all the cabbage on me. It's not like it rots or anything. So I don't really see the harm in harvesting it all. Now, hopefully we can get a, a surplus of seeds so we never have to worry about running out. But yeah, in the, in the meantime, we are limited. But the thing is, harvesting it, as you can see, they, as they start to water and get back to work, we're getting all these appreciation hearts. And right now, we have 600... And 54 and we have 446 to go so we need like 1100 um, <clears throat> appreciation to get to level 4 which is absolutely insane so I feel like we have to clear the farm in order to get those extra hearts right so that they get back to work we get a little bit of appreciation so we have a wheat field over here now and I've set the scarecrow to do wheat and I actually didn't have to plant a single thing I didn't have to uh, till the dirt. They just came up here, they did it all. We built a nice fence around it, and uh, basically the worm turned all the, the gross soil into earth, and then they tilled it, they planted the seeds, they watered the seeds, they did everything for me. It's quite incredible. Uh, really loving the way that the AI helps you do this stuff. It really takes out the monotony of these kinds of farming games and it actually just makes it a ton of fun because everything has a purpose so loving this so far and then up here we i decided to put the sugar cane up top and uh we filled this up with water using our infinite bucket Uh oh we got one of these greeblies oh no i was worried that these guys would come around again build a box around them so we did get a seed out of that at least so our sugar cane's ready to harvest. It looks really nice. Uh, it doesn't have to be watered, obviously, because we have water here. I was, w I was wondering if the water would eventually kind of disappear because it's getting all we don't have like an irrigation system here. 
But it seems to be fine so far. I've harvested this a couple times now. I'm not sure what we could do with the sugar cane just yet. I'm assuming once we get, like, all of our different seeds and we're growing all these different crops, we're going to learn about cooking. Like, they're going to be a, a, probably a chef that comes into town. They're going to ask us to make a kitchen or a restaurant. And that's when we start mixing all these ingredients together. Because I've been, even, even with that bonfire that we found... Uh, I can't seem to get this heart. Yeah, that bonfire, I put it into the house. I'll show you here. It only cooks food one at a time. I figured it would cook more. But, imagine trying to fill these bowls up with, like, salads or whatever. I'd have to sit here and cook, like, hundreds of these, and these people just gobble-gobble it up. So there must be, like, an NPC who... You know, once you build a kitchen and it has, like, all the food resources in the box, they'll stand by and cook and, yeah, continuously cook, fill up the bowls, and that sort of thing. Uh, that's what I'm assuming anyways. It makes sense. So far, this game has been really intuitive that way. So I can only assume that that is the way it's going to be. So I'm not too worried about uh, cooking them anything right now. Right now, I just have the, the bowls full of cabbage. Uh, we have so many people coming in now. Uh, that I just threw a lot more beds down. So yeah, we have our cabbage patch. We have our bathhouse, our barn. Oh yeah, we got this nice little, uh, thing for our, our, our irrigation system. I don't know if it really does anything, but it's cool looking. <laughs> uh, the tree evolved once again. It has sprouts growing around it. I was gonna start recording and then the, like, I was talking to someone and then that happened and I was like, darn it. This would have been a good way to start the video with the tree evolving, but uh, pretty standard stuff. Uh, everybody's just happy with the progress of the town and the way things are going. It's uh, it's, it's good. So here we are in. Uh, we got every all the requests done. We've evolved the tree, and we just really need to level up enough to ring the bell again. More recipes will unlock at the crafting station. Yeah, so we have 400 to go here. And I figure we'll get that simply by doing some more quests. And I'm assuming we're going to be sent on a seed adventure. So let's talk to Clayton here and see what he wants to do. Hello, Johnny. I see you've been sinning at the remarkable rate lately. <laughs> Since you show no signs of wishing to repent, perhaps you might do me a favor. I'm sure the fellow residents and I would be glad of a tiny room with a pot and a towel rail in it if you take my meaning. Uh, what's that? Why a tiny room? Well, they would be not pleased with... Would they not be pleased with a larger one? It's a little difficult to relax and do what must be done if one is sitting in a wide open space. I really think a room should be small as possible. Uh, so to reiterate, that tiny room with a pot and a towel uh, build that for us, and we'll be able to, well, you know. <laughs> okay, so they want, like, an outhouse now. We got our bathhouse, they want an outhouse. So, you're really, uh, building the Sims from scratch. This is, they're, all their necessities. I didn't actually realize it was gonna go as deep as they need to shower, they need to poop. Um, that's... This is just stuff that I didn't expect, but it just gives you more things to build, which is actually pretty awesome. So we're going to build them an outhouse here. Uh, hello, Johnny. I must say, ever since you brought us to the farm, life has just been a surprise after, one after another for me. Everything is growing. Crops are, are indulging in the fruits of creation with the great big smiles on their faces. Does anybody respect the children of Hargan? Really now, Saffron? Uh, are you... Pretending to hate building you're not fooling anyone. Oh, you're right Lillian. It's true Seeing everyone growing these crops is making me hungry. I want to make something to eat. Oh She might become our chef Johnny iron uh, Have a good advice that if you put wheat on a bonfire it turns into something rather delicious Oh, please Johnny won't you make me some bread for me? I'm so hungry. Oh Well, I already have bread Goodness me, did you really bake a loaf of bread? That high priest Hargan will surely strike you down for such a sin. Although, um, could, could I? Honestly, Saffron, Johnny went all the way to his trouble to cook you a meal, and this is how you thank him. 
I'm sorry about my little sister, Johnny. Uh, she's very grateful that you made us this loaf of bread, and she would even be more grateful for a little taste, may we? Yes. Thank you! Finally some something to quell the thunderous ramblings from my stomach. I'm sure you could make all kinds of delicious dishes from vegetables you have been growing here. This is exactly what I suspected. If I were a builder, I would try putting anything and everything on a bonfire. Who knows what wonderful meal you might invent. Here, take these for the bread. I got more seeds. But I'm afraid that I cannot offer you any more assistance with that. I can abandon my faith in the children of Hargan so easily. Oh, mighty Hargan, spare me my, your punishment. I pray one day I shall see the builder's works reduced to rubble. You have my word. <laughs> <clears throat> Whoop. Yeah, now the thing is, we can't really combine things on the fire. I don't think. Yeah. So maybe that's like a cooking pot later on. Thank you again for baking that bread for me, Johnny. It was so delicious. Actually, um, uh, you see... Really now, Saffron, what are you mumbling about this time? And if there's something you want Johnny to make for you, stop wasting his time and say it. Sigh. What my little tr sister is trying to tell you, Johnny, is that ever since you made us that bread, we have become rather enamored with the idea of doing cooking ourselves. If we had a special room to do it in, just think of all the incredible meals we could make. Wouldn't that be just wonderful? Johnny, if you could make, uh, be so kind, you could build us a room with a chest, three sacks of wheat, three bonfires in it, Oh, the two sacks of firewood as well, please. All right. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen, but it's just happening sooner than I expected. Sweet. So, we didn't get a blueprint from that, from the looks of it. Which would have actually been a little bit more handy, because the way they tell you what they need in it you have to kind of memorize that, I think. Unless it shows up in the bedrooms. we got a rustic bathroom. Okay, so that's good. Like, after we've built that bathhouse, it just shows us what the basics are, what we need for a rustic bathroom. So it, it did kind of put it into our room plans. But I'm not seeing anything for a kitchen here. So I'm assuming it, uh, it shows up after... Look at that, total built 4% out of the entire game. I've probably got like 6-7 hours of Let's Play footage with hours in between. I've probably played 10 hours of this game. And we've only ever built 4% of the total stuff that we are eventually going to build in this game. I mean, I'm really curious to know what about the other stuff. 7% of the blueprints discovered. Uh, total, like, items crafted. 5%. So if we average it out, enemies defeated, 12%. We're, we're like 5% through the game. And I've probably got like, I don't know, 10 hours of footage. Like this, that's that's absolutely insane. Uh, we're looking at like a freaking 100 hour plus let's play. So I definitely think what I did, uh, you know, building some stuff in between episodes, just doing a couple quests, um, you know, that building stuff, well, it might be cool to watch me build some of it, watching me build all of it. We will never get through this game. So uh, I'll definitely have to start spacing things out as we go. And like give you guys uh, progress updates and show you what we're up to. But then we'll go do some quests and stuff in between. And since uh, she has requested a small little kitchen, I think that's what we need to do. We need to build a kitchen for this episode. Now where do we do that? Can we build it into our longhouse here, I wonder? So if we're going to do that, we're going to need some wood and a lot of it. So let's go over to our table here. We're going to want some, let's just do 100 floor pieces. And oh, a straw floor might be kind of neat. Let's, let's do 50 wall pieces. I'm actually thinking padded floors might be nice. Oh, it's gentle on the feet. That's better for, like, bedrooms. 
Okay, we'll just go with the hardwood floor and try to expand the house. Now, does it count as a different room if we put a door in between? I would imagine so. So, we want to just fill so we can make a small kitchen extension to the uh, big house we got here. Now, I don't think it needs to be too big. I would say... That might just be enough. Well, we want some dining tables. Maybe just one more row. I'm really just winging it at this point. Oh, uh, another cool thing that I got here. If I swing my hammer and hit Y, we get like a mega smash. So we are learning like new abilities as we progress and level up, which is nice. So we need to get our wooden blocks going down. Fill this up here. I mean, it doesn't hurt to go big, because as if we just continue to expand on it and add more things, it just becomes a bigger, better kitchen, and we unlock more rooms. So, I think while she wanted a small space, this should be a bit larger than what she requested, but also leaves us room to expand. Because when we built the initial bedrooms, actually it might be better just to do the first row. When we built the initial bedroom, I just decided to make the house really, really big. And we filled it really quickly. Unexpectedly quickly. So, uh, with that said, I think you should always plan for expansion. Try to fill this stuff up as... So you don't have to keep expanding your walls. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to knock this wall down. We're also going to... Hmm. I don't think we made this big enough. If we want to get a table in here... Let's... Uh, darn it. I'll just expand it like two more cells. Now the whole house is not a house, so we have to make sure we do this quickly before it gets dark. Because then they won't have anywhere to sleep. I really think the coding in this game is quite remarkable. How many rooms there are and how their AI recognizes it. Uh, how, how many different room types there are to interact with. It's really something special, I must say. Uh, the more I play this game, the more my mind is blown. And I, I have to say, my very, very initial impressions when I tried the demo was like... <laughs> I don't know about this. Like, I would have to say if I dropped the $80 and played for an hour, I would have that feeling of uh, buyer's regret. But... Once you give it a chance and you play for an hour or two it really starts becoming something special. It's one of those games, the more you play, the more it grows on you. And it's it's really starting to... I'm like, I haven't been more addicted to a game in a long time. Alright, we're smashing that table down. And hopefully we can actually make a kitchen out of this. Now, there is a way to make a double swinging door, and I think that would be perfect for the kitchen. Let's make a... Uh, two doors and hopefully this actually uh, turns it into a room aha so we have a new room wonderful so we don't need this in here anymore And I have to remember what she asked. Oh, come here, come here. Oh, all right. We'll wait till the morning. Sleeping time. It's crazy how many beds we're filling up. And it's funny because they're still prioritizing the beds that they originally picked. Uh, the new ones that I placed down, they're not really using yet. See, they're all lined up at the back there. So I, I think like if if they all ended up having their own rooms, they don't. They'll they'll like they'll stick to them, which is interesting and. <clears throat> 
I, I wonder if there's a way later on to assign assign them to their own rooms. Let's quickly do a harvest here because uh, we need as much appreciation as possible. And we're also going to need all this food if we have a chef in the house. I'm actually pretty excited about this because we have those like little bowls and stuff uh, around the, around the farm where people eat, and they're just they've been eating nothing but cabbage, absolutely nothing but cabbage. So having a chef around cooking all this food, I can't wait till she uh, you know sees the way of the builder. So far, she's afraid of building, and uh, she's gonna fall in love with cooking, and. We're going to fully convert her into a builder. It's going to be great. So, I actually... It's funny, because we found them in the cave, but I didn't really... It didn't really click with me, like, what their job would be, and... Uh, she's actually... She looks like she'd be the perfect chef. She's got her little sister to taste test everything. Um, so far, we've gotten nothing but farmers and warriors. So, it's really nice seeing a new... Uh, profession... In one of the characters that we've gotten. And again, it really makes me curious to know, because like right now we can craft weapons and gear and outfit our characters. I wonder if later on we get like smithies and stuff, who like automatically build new gear and you bring them ingots and they smelt them, or maybe you can get a miner. That'd be cool. They just go out there and mine stuff. Uh, I really don't know what to expect, but the game just keeps surprising me around every corner. So now I'm kind of like setting my expectations like higher. So. Okay, what, what, see, that's the one thing without the blueprint, I have to memorize what she wanted. So, let's see what she says here. A chest, three sacks of wheat, three bonfires, and two stacks of firewood. Jeez, I'm gonna have to print screen this. My memory is awful this morning. I got like three hours sleep because my freaking kitten was deciding to go berserk on me. Um, where'd that screenshot go? So yeah, my kitten, uh, she got all her toys in my room, and she's just squeak, 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 squeak. We got a, I got a squeaky mouse for her. <laughs> she's playing with that, slept for like four hours, and uh, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna wake up, get a coffee. I'll take a nap later, and uh, <laughs> first thing I do when I wake up, start playing Dragon Quest Builders. I seriously, I've been this addicted to a game. Uh, it's crazy. So, what we want to do with our... Oh, that's a cook fire, and she didn't request that. We kind of want to put a... Well, we, we also have our... We want to rebuild our tables. So, we don't need these seeds on our bar. We don't need that beach towel. I think we're good with that, so... Alright. Let's... Now, when, when they do make requests, sometimes it does say in here... See? We need to make a bonfire. So... But she said... Three... But we already have one. Uh, firewood. Two stacks. So it is highlighted. Okay, so I, I might not have needed the screenshot. But does it say how many we need? It just says, uh, exclamation mark. Room with a chest. But see, it also says we need a pot. Why do we need a pot? Oh, didn't... Oh, that was that's for the bathroom. We needed a... An outhouse. That's right. So we might as well go ahead and make that stuff, too. Uh, two stacks of firewood. Three sacks... Okay, so there is a two and a three on, on the icon. Okay, that's good. I don't have to write this stuff down. I can just come up to the crafting table and see what's necessary. Oh, it, no, that's... It's actually showing how many we have on us, I think. Hmm. It's not as helpful as I thought. Hmm. Not quite sure. So if I craft one, does it have a one on it now? It does. Okay. Yeah, it would be nice if there was like a little tracker or something, like a quest log that listed it on the side for you. Nonetheless, I think we have everything we need. 
and it should automatically be on our bar. Wait, didn't... What about the sacks of wheat? Might be in our inventory. Okay, so we want to take that out. Uh, there's our sacks of wheat. Is there anything else we need here? Okay, so it does put exclamation marks on the stuff that we're supposed to be building. That's good. So I, I can just look in my inventory for the things that have exclamation marks and throw them on my hotbar. Very cool. <clears throat> but I also kind of want to make it an eating area. But Or maybe she should like bring the food out here and serve it. That actually might be better, wouldn't it? So I might want to re-put the table down here and our stools. And then she comes from the kitchen and, and fills up the... Uh, the food. Okay. So, we're gonna put the fire swell. Start from the middle. A perfect four. A wall of fire. That's not what we needed. Then we have the sacks of wheat. So I'll have like, oh man, I can see myself later on just getting like really decorative with this stuff, like making a pantry. I don't, did she just say three? Yeah, three. Well, we can, we can have four. Doesn't really hurt. Uh, a chest. Let's put that in the corner. A simple kitchen. Wait, but we, we forgot the firewood. Oh, we can put the firewood next to the fires. I look how happy everyone is. We have a kitchen! Agricultural kitchen. Okay, so as soon as we added the wood, it changed. Cool, cool. Why is he in here? Hmm. What we do need is, like, windows. We need to dress this house up. I'll do that at some point, like, get really decorative, blow out some of these walls. But I'm kind of, like, reserved right now. Uh, I'm waiting for, like, the roofs, the roof pieces. Because I think I want to try to give the house some structure. So, while we just have these simple too high walls right now, uh, I think we want to get a little bit fancier with it later on, so... It just wants, we just want to use it to serve its purpose. I kind of like the the fact that the game starts you off like that. You can kind of see, it's like when you play those sim games, it always chops the roof off. Uh, and it's just like an artificial way of doing that. But I know for a fact later on, you will be putting rooftops on and stuff uh, for aesthetics. I don't know if it actually makes a difference, but aesthetically it would. All right, let's talk to uh, Saffron here. Oh my, Johnny, it's wonderful. Oh, I clicked that too quick. Honestly now, Saffron, if you have something to say, just come out and say it. I I want to use the kitchen you made. I want to cook! If you would be so kind to put ingredients you find in the chest, we shall make meals of them. But we're not builders like you. We can't invent new recipes. We can only copy meals you've made. So I would urge you to experiment and come up with many delicious dishes that you can. We'll put all our creations back in the chest in the kitchen, so if you ever feel a peckish, you can look inside. Oh, yeah, we got, like, a production line going for food. So they'll fill the chest up, and then I'll take the stuff from the chest and put it in the bowls. Uh, hopefully, later on, we'll have a server who can do that as well. Fill up all the bowls around the house. Because that kind of seemed to be the way with the the, the, the crops. Uh, at first, they wouldn't plant them. They wait, they only let me do it. Same with the sugar cane. I had to plant the sugar cane. But once I figured that out, they copied. So... Uh, I've, I'm assuming eventually there'll be someone that like fills the bowls and stocks the shelves and does all that. So that's pretty cool. Now in terms of recipes, I don't think we can... What, can we put a sack of flour on here? No, we can't. See, I don't think we can combine... Let me open up my inventory and see what other food we have. Take out the sugar cane, the wheat. Oh, we have some crab claws. Ooh, and some scallywinks. Mmm, and kelp? Some, some grilled kelp? What else do we have here? 
Can we... Maybe some bramble? I don't know. Who wants to eat bramble? <laughs> Sounds terrible. Hey, you never know. Until you try. I think that's it. So we're gonna... Try placing something in with it. You see, I, I can't combine anything. That's fine. So the things I haven't cooked are... These claws. Uh, I don't think I've cooked any kelp. I did in the tutorial, like way back when we were on the beach in the first episode. Same with the scallywinkles. So, but it doesn't hurt to just throw some in there. Oh, you know what I didn't do is the sugar cane. Ooh. Let's try the sugar cane. And we can try the bramble. I don't know if that actually works. Wait. Did I just put Bramble on there? Ooh, we got sweeties. Okay, we can't cook Bramble. Okay. So, they are ready to cook. Let's give them everything they need. Sugar cane. Wheat. Crab claws, scallywinkles, some kelp, cabbage. Do I have anything else on me? That's it. Um, actually, I, I need to keep a little bit of that cabbage so I can feed myself as I go. be good. My character gets hungry too, but we'll have meals soon enough. So she's going into the box. She's taking out some cabbage. She's cooking it up. Now, is there... Just like I could assign the scarecrow certain things to cook, I wonder... Okay, she's cooking the clams. Scallywinkles. I mean, I, oh, I guess, obviously, if I just put what I want them to cook in there, they'll just cook that. I just gave them all the options. And because I gave them all the options, they're just experimenting, which is great. They're kind of doing one of each. Now, what happens if we put a couple more fires in here? Are they going to utilize those? Let's, uh, let's put four more in. Let's get this thing, uh, churning out food. Maybe we get a, another stack of wood. Or maybe two more stacks. Oh, we've ran out of wood. That's fine. We'll go get more later. I'll do my farming off camera. Restock on things. Oh, I don't even think they can keep up with four fires. Look at them go. We need more uh, chefs. If we're gonna do that. I think four is like the perfect number. Yeah. Okay, we don't need these. Good to know. Actually... I should move... Oh, crap. I should move the chest. Because they're, they're walk- they have a, such a long distance to walk. So, let's see. Can I pick this up? Crap. I cannot pick it up. What happens if I, uh... Shoot. I hate how A switches between items. Okay, it's nighttime now, so they're done anyway. Okay, at least it bursts everything out of the chest. So we, in a sense, want the chest like right behind the campfire. Hmm. 
right freaking there so they could just grab turn around grab turn around so let's fill their back up I, I don't like how you can't put things in the chest that are from your inventory. It has to go to your bar first. That's slightly annoying. But not the end of the world. Uh, where's all my clams and stuff? Okay, here we go. I'm feeling the lack of sleep hitting me now. I have to take a nap in a bit. I just want to play more. Where's the cabbage? Oh, the cabbage is on my hot bar. Put it away. Should be good. Put these guys in there. Looks good. Alright. Now, let's sleep. Oh, I think I forgot to fill the bowls up once I replaced them. I did. It's okay, I can put a little bit of something in there for now. Just like 10. Alright, let's go gather some crops, collect some appreciation. Yeehaw. See, do I have any seeds in my bag? I do. Sugarcane seedlings. No cabbage seedlings. Those are the rarest ones right now. I have no idea how to get more cabbage seeds. Uh, so far, the enemies that have been attacking us have been dropping wheat seeds. So we have plenty of wheat. Um... And I'm, I'm only worried that we're going to run out of cabbage harvest over time. Uh, I think I feel like we have like an infinite surplus of wheat. I'm not too afraid of that. As you can see, the, the it's packed and we still have seeds. And we get more all the time. So let's put the seeds in here. And they will plant those. Oh, look at this. They keep collecting scallywinkles. And I don't know where they're getting them from, but it's pretty great. Uh, cause our chef can now cook all that stuff up for us. And I think Scallywinkles is probably one of the better things to eat because, I mean, well, it's like they're clams. They get some protein. Better than all this freaking cabbage. Living off cabbage and bread. What are we, peasants? No more bread? We need, uh, need some protein. Now, that's what I'm really curious about with the husbandry. Like, can we get cows and have a slaughterhouse and chickens and eggs, pigs. It'd be amazing. I really hope so. High hopes. I mean, I, I, at this point, I, I can't even doubt it, right? I can't, I can't doubt what this game is doing. <laughs> Seems to be doing everything right. Surprising me around every turn. So, here's the hoping. And there's the last of our sugar cane. It's kind of uh, satisfying chopping all these down. Blip, 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 blip. Now, the one downside of the sugar cane is that it doesn't need to be watered, so usually when they actually do work, they show signs of appreciation, and we get a whole bunch of hearts out of it. Uh, there come a plant some stuff. There they go. Look at that. See? I just have to give them the seeds, and they do the work. It's great. But yeah, they'll sit here and water all these seeds, and we'll get little hearts out of it. We need to get more cabbage. Oh. We can take a bath. <laughs> it's pretty great. Alright, so the last thing we need to do here is we need a little bathroom. Mm, I'm, I'm wondering if we should like include that in the house. Or maybe the bathhouse. Probably the bathhouse would make the most sense. I kind of like the idea of like a little outhouse. Just off to the side. 
Maybe even, uh... Just over here. Why not? Hmm. Yeah, we don't want this stinky outhouse near the rest of our stuff. So we're just gonna, uh... Smash all this down. So... I wonder how small it has to be. He said a towel... And a pot. So, does that mean like a 3x3? Three three? No, that wouldn't even... Would that be enough? I wonder? Let's try it. Start with a 3x3. Three three. So that, that would leave you one... Little pad. Right? Jeez, I, maybe this isn't a good spot. People are gonna get hit by little freaking projectiles while they're pooping. I'm assuming the guards will take care of it. Ugh. Oh my god. That is such a small room. He asked for small. Freaking Malroth, do something about this. Freaking Slimers? I need like a guard tower out here. Just want to make an outhouse in peace. Leave me alone. Go, Malroth, go. Alright, we need a door. Let's go make a door here. Oh, you know what? These are cute. Let's make some of these. Shoot, we're out of wood. And I already had some of those. Frick. Okay, we can get just a couple trees here. Really only need one tree, I think. Should be plenty. Just a door. Where's the door? So we need to clear the stuff off our bar. Anything else in there? Nope. Boop. Ugh. I think you want the door to open the other way. Because it's so small. That's better. A pot? <laughs> Is that good enough? Let's see if he's satisfied. Now I can do my business in peace. Wait. No, you can't. Are you pooping in here? I'm supposed to poop in the barn, man. I don't think the room is big enough. Hmm. Maybe just one space larger? That's a perf- it was a perfect size outhouse in my opinion. It's just the toilet paper was a little hard to get at. Does that even count as a room? Let's see here. It's not... Yeah, it's not being detected as- oh wait. We got a block missing. No. Okay. Time to expand. Hmm. 
I'm assuming. Four by four should be perfect. It has to be. Well, I guess the actual interior would be less. It'd be like a two by two. Kind of feel like we need another door, though. Let's make one more door. Meow. Place them this way. Tiny room. Freaking doors backwards again. At least we got... So that's the smallest a room can be. From the looks of things. So we can put our freaking toilet there. And our paper towel. Here. Tiny toilet. <laughs> All right, there you go, buddy. Amazing, Clayton. Oh, thank you, Johnny. You've got no. <laughs> you have no idea how long I've been waiting for a room like this. He's been holding it in for weeks. Uh, I can tell you how hard things have been trying to sneak out into the wilderness to answer the call of nature in private, especially with those cabbage. I've been, all that cabbage. I've been eating. Just the other day, I hid behind a tree to unburden myself, but I uh, just had, you know, with my britches, uh, I saw Rosie's eyes were fixed upon, uh, him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I beg your pardon? What exactly am I talking about, you ask? Uh, you're really gonna make me say it out loud? It's what people make after they had something to eat. Oh, uh, why, why uh, try it for yourself? Have a nice big meal and plenty of fiber, and then after a while, you'll find yourself in a... New room, that new room comes in very handy indeed. Oh, and, and by the way, the pot will probably start to fill up after a while. Perhaps there is some way you can make use of that matter. Oh, use of that matter. Maybe we get fertilizer out of it? <laughs> That's weird. So they just poop in a pot. That's hilarious. Don't mistake the other pots around the houses, uh, like this one in the barn. So it just poops in the barn. All right. Ah, very fun stuff. Um, wow, these crops are just coming in so quick. I can barely keep up. Uh, let's see how much cooked food Saffron has cooked for us. And does the chest being so close help a lot? What did she just put in the chest? Cook faster, ladies. There's a there's a fire here that's not being utilized. Okay, there you go. Okay, so they have cooked 13 scallywinkles, 11 grilled greens, some sweeties, 7 bread. So they're generally cooking evenly, but they are prioritizing the scallywinkles uh, and the grilled greens. It's good. It's really good. A little bit of everything, and once we have a nice stack, I'll start filling the bowls with that stuff. And everyone's going to love it. I think I'll, it'll actually uh, increase our appreciation if they're eating better food than just raw cabbage all the time. Uh, who did I see at a quest for us? I think it was the worm. Where is he? Okay. What's up, Wormy? Wrigley? Hello there. Uh, me and Ansem and heard something interesting from Melroth. He tells me you two met Bodkin and did I did him a favor. Says he worked out how to make worm food in the process and all. That blimmin' brilliant news. Why didn't he tell me sooner? Uh, if I didn't know better, I think he'd had eyes for making fields and he ain't given a single thought into grassy meadows I love so much. But I ain't going to give up that easy. I'll do me a pa... and pa pond. I, I can't read what he's saying. They're mass and paws before I'm proud. I uh, ain't going to turn old island green. I'll need your help to do it, though, Johnny. Worm's food is made of green grass seeds and night soil, right? Okay. 
do me a girt big favor and make me one of them balls of worm food. Plunk them down wherever, uh, away from your fields, and I'll turn the area into a lovely little lawn. If you're wondering where to get your your hands on night soil, and look no further than that pot in the tiny room they made. Ooh, night soil. It's the poop. Don't worry about getting your hands dirty. You can clean them up with the towel you put in there. <laughs> Great. So take the poop for the night soil, but then what about the seed thingies that he was talking about? The grass seeds, because I haven't found any more grass seeds. Um, he said that Malroth knows how to make them or something, right? But that wasn't... Did I miss something? Yeah, I don't quite understand something there. Can you make me some food? Okay. Let me uh, ask him again. Grass seeds and night salt. But what about the grass seeds? He said something about Malroth knew how to make grass seeds. We're getting grass. Where's the seeds? Does he tell me? We're gonna have to find some seeds. All right, well, I'll figure that out later between episodes. I'll figure out how to get the grass seeds. I'll run around and, I don't know, whack some grass, uh, go into some of the other zones. Because I know when we were in the swamp, we were finding grass seeds. So I'll just head back there and take a look around, see what I find. Let's see how that goes. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I do want to see if there's any fertilizer in that toilet already, though. Has anyone even used it? Oh my god, I can use it. <laughs> I guess uh, it, it'll just fill up. Look at all the people lining up for a shower. That's hilarious. I'm so excited. Hurry up! How long does this take? Guess I'll wait. I can't wait! <laughs> oh, we. I think we need another bathhouse. Jeez. Why does everyone want to take a bath at the same time? Now it's bedtime. Nobody got a bath. <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. Uh, oh, I freaking love this game so much. It's ridiculous. It's insanely uh, satisfying. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a fun little episode. We. We learned how to uh, cook food. We have our chef working her magic. We have food on the go. Our few people are going to be happy. We made a little bathroom. So we did some building quests, and you get, you get an idea how the building quest works. Um, you didn't get to see the blueprint build quest, but you got to see, like, a, I guess, what do you call that? Like, a freeform build quest. So this was more of, like, a structured build quest with a blueprint. So next time I get one of those, I'll try to make an episode of it so you guys can see how the blueprint situation works there. And, uh, you know, it was, it was nice to do some free building. Um, I like I like the fact that we can get creative with that and just do design things ourselves. But because we're limited on our build pieces right now, it, it doesn't really make much sense to do more than just what the objective asks for. I know, you know... Some people will get really creative with this stuff, but I kind of want to save that for when I have, like, actual rooftop pieces and different decorative things to go along with it. Uh, that way I can just really get things right the first time without having to demolish things and restart. But nonetheless, things are coming together. We got our little 16 by 16 plots everywhere. Uh, three different farms, several different buildings now. It's great. It's, it's really a ton of fun. Uh, look at everybody sleeping away. How many people is that now? It's 10, 11? Plus two guards? And a dog? And that guy. So we got like 15 people. And a worm. <laughs> it's huge! I think we started from nothing. Really quite brilliant. Love it. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for me in this episode. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe for more. Let me know what you think of this game down in the comments below. Love reading your comments, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye now.